Thanks for tuning in, Rams, to Arabia News Network. I am Asia White. And I'm Robert Tucker. Hope you all have settled in and ready to tackle another school year. Are you prepared for the school year? You know I am. Here at Arabia, we have some of the most amazing teachers. This week, we spotlight Teacher of the Year, Ms. April Langer. This is Jolene Jenkins reporting for Arabia Mountain News Network with this week's Teacher in the Spotlight. As reigning Teacher of the Year, what changes would you like to see at Arabia? I would like to see an increase in our school spirit. We've got a lot of really great things going on at Arabia Mountain, and so I would love to see our students show more pride in our facility. I would love to see more students coming out to support all of our different athletic teams um, at their different competitions throughout the year. What are your plans for this school year? My plans for this school year are to continue to expand our CTAE department offerings and to um, offer more opportunities to all of our students in our various pathways. Thank you so much, Ms. Langer. This is Jolene Jenkins reporting for Arabia News Network with this week's Teacher in the Spotlight. Thanks, Jolene. This year, we lost one of our beloved principals, Dr. Douglas, due to a promotion. Congratulations, Dr. Douglas. In addition, we received a new addition to Arabia Mountain family. Here reporting is Chastity Starks. Mr. Bird is the new assistant principal who is over testing in the 11th grade students. I've been working in DeKalb since 2001. I was the baseball and softball coach and social studies teachers, uh, teacher at Martin Luther King Junior High School up until 2005. From 2005, I was the assistant principal at Miller Grove Middle School until I received the call to come to Arabia in July. Kids are motivated. The, the whole game plan is to try to get kids to the next level, whatever their level may be. Um, to make sure that they're motivated to get to their next level, that they, are, they understand that they have access to their next level, and the work ethic that it takes to get them to that level. I've enjoyed my, my time here so far. The people have been very welcoming. Um, the students, um, they have a, a zest for learning. And the um, faculty has been very friendly and very welcoming. I think they just need to keep, keep on with the mission, which is raising academically motivated students. Keep on that mission keep giving um, students the avenues to reach their goals and their dreams. One out of every three students will be a victim of cyberbullying. Here at Arabia, we want to consistently promote a positive learning environment. Bullying is never allowed. Oh my God, this is so cute. Everybody's gonna be like, hey. I gotta post this. I got some comments. It's a mess. What? Why would they say that? I thought I looked good in that picture. Cyberbullying is still bullying and you never know how the other person may feel on the other side. So don't do it. To report cyberbullying, call the number 1-800-420-1479 or visit the website www.cyberbullyinghotline.com. Academics are the core of Arabia and the driving force for our students. Here is reporter Amber Bingham with Student Spotlight. This week's Student Spotlight will be on a freshman named Amari. Let's take a look. Um, my name is Amari and my experience in Arabia has been pretty good so far. I like the school and it's not too big and I know where my classes are. I'm thinking about um, 4-H and maybe the reading bowl. Yeah, it's very different because I was homeschooled. My mom homeschooled me, so this is really different. So I'm not only adjusting to public school, I'm adjusting to high school too. So. Ram Nation is definitely setting the bar high and dominating all fall sports. Here's sports reporter Naya Pearson and Ridge Turner. All right, Ram. Performance as a coach, I would say a seven, but as other people looking at it, they probably rated an eight or nine. Okay, so what are your plans for the rest of the season? 
Um, our plans are to, uh, first of all, win the region and uh, hopefully go farther than we did um, last year, which was hopefully get past the go to the Sweet 16 and okay. then go down to Columbus. Okay, well thank you for your time. Thank you. Here I am, Rich Turner with our college football coach, Coach Pritchett. How was the game last week at the MLK Lions? I mean, it was a good, great game out by our team. I mean, it was a total team effort. Um, team effort, we came up with a 33-7 victory. And as we all know, you were awarded the game of the week. Were you excited for that game? Definitely excited for our young men to be, you know, be, able to be in the spotlight um, by Fox 5. Um, the opportunity on the TV game, and you know, we, we had a, a good showing. So during practice, did you prepare for any special plays to show out? Do anything special for the camera? Uh, no, we didn't want to do anything special. You know, we, we prepared to prepare hard each week. Uh, we go against each other hard, and um, we want to be one and off each game, and that's, that's what we did this week. So these past few games, including the last season, how do you feel about the team this year? Do you feel like y'all are very much better, getting better? How, what are your thoughts about the team this year? Well, I just, I just wanted to get better each week. Um, I think we're, you know, continuing to get better. We played the um, song around the first week. We, we got better than we played MLK. So I missed the point this week, and I'll, I'll, I'll go to be one and off each game. I'm going to take one game at a time. Thank you, sir. All right. Students are seeking alternative lunch choices now that the vending machines are back on. Here's Asia White with an investigative health report. Students are now using these snacks in the vending machine as their lunch instead of getting the nutritious lunch prepared for them. They say their reasoning is that the food is just not satisfying to them. We spoke with Denaja Blackshear to get her take on the lunch choices. Like I would rather eat the food in the vending machine than rather eat the lunch because they barely cook their food and there's no seasoning. I'm here with Ms. Johnson, a nutritionist here at Arabia Mountain High School. So how do you feel about the unhealthy vending machines? Um, Maybe if they would take the vending machines out of the school, more kids might eat lunch. Or if they keep the vending machines, maybe they could put more healthy snacks in the vending machines. Arabia Mountain is known for its academics, but did you know that we are also an eco-friendly school? Maya Ellison reporting. Always bet on green. Arabia Mountain High School is an environmental based school. Some ways Arabia takes on the environment is by managing the use of water. In the restrooms, the toilets have options that distribute water in moderate or excessive rates. For solid waste, push down, which produces more water, while pulling up for liquid waste, which produces less water. This is a great way to save the environment, and Arabia is truly exemplifying that. The Green Ming Funk Machine is a highlight here at Arabia under the leadership of Ms. Monica Fogg. Here is reporter Taylor Ingram with the band. I've been in the band since ninth grade and it's been a wonderful experience. And it's a lot of fun for me as a leader to show new, new people how to march, how to do everything that you know we have to do in marching band. It's a lot of fun. and. A lot of hard work goes in that too to make our performances perfect. So when it comes to pet rallies, do y'all practice every day before pet rallies so y'all can get everything together? How who organizes it? Uh, with the pet rallies, we practice basically every day of the week, and like it's on our, us, the leaders, to get our sections right with the dances, with the music, and all these other things. So there's a lot of uh, pressure on us, but. It's a lot of fun to, you know, perform in front of our peers. Here at Arabia, we are raising academically motivated students. I am Asia White. And I'm Robert Tucker. Thanks for tuning in, Rams, and we will see you next time. <laughs>